Now, dito na tayo sa anong part na to? Part 3 na ba tayo? Part 3 dito sa work problem na sinisend lang sa atin at hindi ko na i-reveal kung kanino galing ito. Basahin natin yung problem sa 64. Working together, Jonathan and Wancho can paint a car in 12 hours. If it takes Jonathan two-third as long as it takes Wancho to paint a car in 12 hours, find the number of days Wancho can do the task alone. Ganito lang siya kadali. Working together, si Jonathan, wag nyo lang pangunahan ng takot kesyo math, and together siya, so i-add mo kay Wancho. Sila together makatrabaho ng 12 hours. Ngayon, if it takes Jonathan third third as it takes Wancho, so let you be the hours na matapos ni Wancho ma-paint yung car alone. So, isang trabaho, ma-paint ni Jonathan ng two third kay Wancho. Again, let you be the number of hours na si Wancho mismo, Wancho. Ewan ko kung tama ba yung pagka-pronounce ko sa name na to na matrabaho ni Jonathan. So, i-add natin sa isang trabaho na matapos ni Wancho in U hours. Kasi hindi pa natin alam. So, if they work together, isang trabaho, yung isang buong mapaint nila yung car within 12 hours. Ito na yung equation sa problem na ito. Ulitin ko lang ha. Kasi masyado siyang para meron tayong mga space dito. Ulitin natin lahat. Again, para lang din, i-recap lang din natin para mag-gets nyo. Working together, meron tayong si Jonathan. Tapos, i-add natin si Wanto matapos nila in 12 hours. Let you be the number of hours na itong si Wanto isang trabaho matapos niya kung ilang oras ba yan. Tapos, i-add natin sa kay Jonathan na isang trabaho matapos niya in 2 third daw sa kay Wanto. And that is, isang trabaho together sila matapos in 12 hours. Focus mo na tayo dito. This is 1 divided by 2 third. Yung U, dyan lang yan. Kasi yung U dito man yan siya. Kung gusto mo, sige, sama na natin. Si 1, kopyahin. Si division maging multiplication. Reciprocal nito ay 3 over 2 U. 1 lang naman ang i-multiply natin dyan. So, therefore, ito na yon Ang itsura dito ay, this will be, pwede na rin i-delete na lang natin ito. This will be the same as 3 over 2 U. Hanapan natin ito ng LCM. Ito sa baba, mo tingnan. And that is 12 U para maging whole numbers ba lahat. 12U times 3 over 2U, pwede mang sa baba na lang, itong mga U na yan, cancelled out na yan, 12 divided by 2, and that is 6. 6 times 3 is equals to 18. So, 18 na lang dyan. Plus, ito namang si 12U times 1 over U, yung U lang i-cancel out natin, si 12 times 1, and that is 12. Next, 12U times 1 over 12. Ang 12 lang ang makancel out. So, si U times 1 is equals to U. 18 plus 12 and that is equals to 30. So, therefore, ito na yung sagot. 30 hours. Asa na yung tanong? Find the number of days once you can do the task alone. 30 hours. Next, dito na tayo sa number 65. Paalala lang kung hindi nyo pa rin gets yung mga work problems, panoorin nyo yung iba pang mga videos na na-upload natin. At ilalagay ko yung mga links na dati natin na-upload with regards sa work problem. Pariho lang yung process. Huwag nyo i-memorize yung sagot. Now, basahin natin. One printing machine can run the necessary copies for daily circulation of newspaper in 5 hours. Bali yung old na printing machine in 5 hours. A modern printer can run the same number of copies in 4 hours. 
How long will it take to run the copies when both machines are working? So, isulat natin si old plus yung new. At saka, ang tanong dito is how long will it take to run the copies when both machines are working? So, kung both na siya. So, let B be that number of hours kung sila na pariho ang nag-work. Now, dito tayo sa old. Isang itong mga copies na to, yung lahat ng copies. So, isang trabaho, matapos niya in 5 hours. So, 5 hours. Plus, itong bago naman, isang trabaho, matapos niya in 4 hours. Take note ha, meron kasi ako nakikita mga maling sagot dito. Na i-add lang tapos din-divide ng 2. Take note. Isipin mo ha, itong modern print a uh, printer yung modern printer kung siya lang magtrabaho matapos niya in 4 hours kung siya lang may sumagot kasi na 4.5 kapag sila ng dalawa dapat kapag sila ng dalawa yung hours ay less than 4 hours kasi sa 4 hours na yan na matrabaho nitong modern printer siya lang magisa ngayon tutulungan siya Dito sa old printer, which is yung i-copies na gagawin nila, ay pariho lang, isang trabaho lang ang gagawin nila. So, shared na sila. So, therefore, ang sagot must be less than 4. As in, super less than 4. Kasi yung isa ay 5 hours niyang matapos yung buong trabaho. Now, so, this is equals to isang trabaho kung ilang hours nila matapos together. Hanapan ulit natin itong nasa denominators ng LCM which is 20B para lahat ay maging whole numbers. 20B times 1 fifth. So, pwede mo i-diretso na lang 20 divided by 5 and that is equals to 4. Na mayroon ka pang B. So, 4B plus 20 divided by 4 and that is 5. Mayroon ka pang B. So, this is 5 B equals 20B times 1B. Uh, Doon ka na lang sa B divided by B. Makancel out mo lang yan siya. So, 20 na lang. Next, yung like terms mo. 4B plus 5B and that is equals to 9B. 9B equals 20. Para ma-isolate si B, since si 9 pang multiply sa B, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 20. So, 20 over 9. Isa-isahin natin itong 20 at saka yung 9. 20 divided by 9. So, ilang 9 ba sa 20? Dalawa. 2 times 9 is equals to 18. Now, 2 lang din yan siya. So, itong 2, yan yung whole number natin. At itong isa pang 2, yan yung numerator over yung denominator dito or yung divisor. Kopyahin lang 9. So, ang sagot dito, this is 2 and 2 over 9. Ang pinag-usapan natin dito ay hours. How long will it take to run the copies when both machines are working? 2 and 2 over 9 hours. Now, balikan natin itong uh, 64. Kasi ang, ang given dito ay mga hours. Hours ang given. Ang tanong ay find the number of days one two can do the task alone. Itong 30, yan yung hours. 30 hours. So, i-convert natin into days. So, 30, one day, by the way, one day is equals to 24 hours. Equivalent to 24 hours. So, i-divide natin into 24. So, this is 1, 24. 30 minus 24 and that is 6. Dagdagan pa natin ng isa pang 0. Pero maglagay tayo ng decimal at align mo sa taas. Then, this is 60. 60 divided by 24. Ilan bang 24 sa 60? 2. 2 yan. So, 24 times 2 and that is 50, uh, 50 so 48. 60 minus 48 and this one is 2, 12, so, mag-bring down ka pa ng isa pang zero. 120 divided by 24, and that is equals to 
5. 24 times 5. And this is 120. So, ang sagot ay 1.25 days. Isa pa. Dito lang tayo banda. Erase natin yan. Erase, 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 erase. Erase. So, itong 1, yan yung whole number natin. Itong 6, yan yung numerator. At 24, yan yung denominator. Now, 6 over 24, hanapan muna natin ng greatest common factor, which is 6. 6 divided by 6 is equals to 1. 24 divided by 6 is equals to 4. So, itong fraction natin ay equivalent sa 1 fourth. Therefore, ang sagot dito ay 1 and 1 fourth days. So, find the number of days, 1.25 days or 1 and 1 fourth days. Thank you for watching and God bless.